Hello and welcome to Poly Cousin. My name's Christina and if you're like me and you tend to paint over 3D renders a lot, having color masks is just the most handy thing in the world. They allow you to mask select selections of the image and speed up the painting process tremendously. Today I'll be showing you two ways of creating color mask renders in Blender and how to use specific tools in Photoshop to easily select a whole color block and what sort of uses this might have. Let's get started. So I've put together a sort of dummy scene of a rustic kitchen for demonstration purposes. So usually when you're in solid shading mode, which is the mode right here, you'll most likely have a clay shader active already. Now, to get a super quick color mask render, you just need to change the mode from math cap to flat and the color option to random. In order to get just flat colors, make sure all of these options are turned off. So now, if you head to view, viewport render image, you'll get a render matching the same resolution you've specified under the render properties tab. You'll see that my render turned out much darker than it was in the viewport if that happens to you, it's due to the fact that you've changed some color management options. So maybe try switching view transform to standard and look to none. And of course, reset the exposure and gamma values by hovering over the area fields and hitting backspace. If you pay close attention to the render, you'll notice that some of the areas have been grouped together like the sink and dish rack or the entire tray over here. So what I tend to do when this happens is to assign colors manually. Collapse all of the windows under material properties and have the viewport display tab open. In viewport shading, change the mode from random to material. And now in the material tab, just change the color. I mean, isn't that great? If you have a mesh that has several materials, you can either assign different colors to each material, or you can copy the material by hovering over the color block with your cursor, hit Ctrl C and Ctrl V, paste that onto the other materials. That's why I collapse all of the windows because I want to kind of avoid having to scroll up and down constantly when doing this. Of course, if you want to switch to render preview mode, we'll still have all of the textures included. And if you want to go back to the clay material preview, just switch to matcap and for example, vertex. So what do we do with a render like this? Well, if you have any version of Photoshop, you'll have the option to select any of these colors by going to select, color range, and just color pick whatever you want selected. If you want to access this selection quickly, you can just right click on the image while you're in marquee mode and choose layer via copy or you can separate it from the mask by choosing layer via cut. Now, if you control select that layer thumbnail, you'll get up that selection right away. And if you want, you can, for example, try out different color schemes by adding a hue saturation adjustment while in that selection, and it will automatically create a mask. This is a great way of trying different color palette variations for your scenes, characters, or props super quickly. This was a very quick little tutorial, but I hope it was useful to you. For my next quick tip, I'll show how to use the shadow render pass to generate quick ideas for thumbnails in Blender. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye.